Jan Grudnicki, thank you for 220 Canadian. Should I use linear antenna on the Vista with the goggles too? Yes, I guess so. And uh, I'm not going to pull up the page, but Flyfish RC is the only company I know that sells an aftermarket. Oh, but it's got dual elements and the Vista only needs a single element. Shoot. Wow, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Um, is there a good linear? Like, you don't want to just use, like, a, a rubber ducky dipole. In case you're, in case that that word doesn't mean anything to you. Like, here's a here's an old-fashioned rubber duck antenna. They call them. I don't even know why they call them rubber duck. Um, it's just this old style of antenna, you know? Don't use this. It is linear, but it's not durable, and it'll just fall apart. Um, okay, I have a question uh, yeah, but... about this idea. So even though the goggles are linear, putting yep. a linear antenna on the drone means that orientation matters with the drone, right? Well, that's fair. So, Mike, I'm wondering if you would actually get more benefit out of a linear or if you get more benefit out of something circular because you won't be flat. I mean, that's always been my argument for using circular antennas on drones is that your orientation now doesn't matter. Um, so the D here's. Oh, that's interesting. That's an interesting point. So the O3 comes with a dual polarized linear antenna. So you've got two elements in there. I think they're at 45 degree polarization, which buys you some flexibility as the quad flips upside down. But the Vista doesn't have that. So could you argue that on the Vista, you'd be better off with a circular antenna because you're still, then you're, you're getting three-ish dB of loss for the cross polarization but you're not getting any lost. I mean, I've made that argument before about other quads, so that that logic must still hold. Uh, I guess that logic still holds. Like, that's why I would say, uh, yeah. Okay, fair enough. No, you should not use a linear antenna on the Vista with the goggles too. I still feel like on the O3, like I did some testing on the O3, and I put circular antennas on the goggles and a linear antenna on the O3, and that was not the right thing to do, I'm confident. Two circular on the O3 and circular on the goggles might work, but frankly, the default antennas on the goggles works on the goggles too work so damn well. With the Vista though, oh yeah, that's interesting. Fair point. Some people use just a little uh, Mo Mo points out. I've been using a linear whip on the Vista with the goggles too. Excellent range. Yeah. I mean, you could just get a little whip antenna. That's a good point. Just like a tiny whip. I'm not saying you should. That, that's an interesting idea to experiment with. 